Steer Crazy 2 has a flat tire. It was sitting on the ground. So I had blocks under because I knew it was going flat, but after these rainstorms, it uh, tipped the blocks over, sunk in the mud. So I brought some cribbing down. And how do you lift a heavy machine like this? Well, if you can't get a jack under it, put a big choker on it and use another big machine. Just like it. And steer crazy, lifted steer crazy too. And we got it blocked up enough that it's not going to ruin that tire. And of course, we have to have the stick supervisor. These doggone supervisors are just so much help. A couple years ago, I had somebody ask me what I would use those big chokers and those big clevises for. And they didn't understand that I had heavy equipment that uh, sometimes we got to pull, sometimes we got to lift. And they come in real handy. Even this cribbing is trying to sink down in that mud. And it's pretty heavy duty timber. And we just put a block back here to support it. So it's kind of bridging everything back here to the good good material back here that it's sitting on. Should keep it up enough until I get the tire fixed. So I determined that originally this tire was leaking because of this uh, loose valve stem. So I put all kinds of tire goop on this to get it aired up, you know, before I moved it over to this pot, spot here. And uh, what I found out is the O-ring in here is bad. So I bought a new O-ring. So I'm going to pull this tire off, pull it apart, fix that valve stem, make sure everything is in good shape there, put a new O-ring on it, and put it all back together and then I'll check it for leaks before I put it back on the machine. Those tires and rims are extremely heavy but then again I have a machine here that uh, can help me lift it on there. <laughs> 